The People's Democratic Party this week directed all of its members with subsisting intra-party legal cases to withdraw them from the courts. According to a statement issued by PDP's National Publicity Secretary, Debo Olugnaba, the committee gave the directive after thoroughly reviewing the current state of the party. He added that the directive was issued in line with the spirit of unity and reconciliation. Mr. Olugnaba himself joins us now to discuss this rationale behind the directive, efforts at building the party and its role as the leading opposition party under the APC-led federal government. Good to have you on Newsday. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, Howard. It's nice to be here with you. Well, good afternoon. Um, can you uh, describe or explain to us what the benefits of uh, this call for the intra-party lawsuits to be uh, recalled, for PDP, that is? Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you very much for having me. But again, before I speak to that, I think what is important is to recognize the mood of the nation right now. And I will be speaking on behalf of the PDP to extend our sincere condolences to the government and people of Kaduna State, and particularly of Igabi local government, after the sad incident of the bombing that killed several tens of people, innocent people that were observing their religious rights. So we want to commensurate with the people and the government of Kaduna State for that. Now back to the issue that you raised which concerns the uh, party. Uh, PDP is an organic party that is founded on principles, on values, on policy, and of course, I'm founded on its foundation based on constitution. Embedded in that constraint, recognizing that yes, when you have a political party, you have several interests in there. But your ability to reconcile conflicting interests makes you a truly democratic party. Particularly in our own setting, we recognize the need and the importance of having conversation, discussing with ourselves, resolving differences, and coming to a conclusion that will be fair to all and that will be acceptable to a substantial number of the people that are in the majority. So we recognize the fact that there's need for us to bring that to bear as provided for in the Constitution of the Party, particularly Section 58, 1 subsection L, where we encourage the fact that for you to approach the court, you must go through a process where you explore the mechanism within the, the processes of the party. With all the different organs, we have the, the NEC, we have the Board of Trustees, we have the NWC, we have the, the Governance Forum, where issues that relate to conflicts can be resolved. So that informed that, and we have witnessed a whole lot of cases that are conflicting, that is distracting, and we think it's important for us to put that in perspective and come together as a family. Now, I'm wondering how optimistic you are, you know, in thinking that members will heed your call, considering the fact that it's quite obvious that the PDP's internal dispute resolution mechanism has failed time and time again, which I guess is why members of your party teamed up with the opposition to sabotage the PDP during the 2023 elections. So I'm wondering what has changed between now, between then and now that makes you, you know, that makes you bold enough to make this kind of directive. Well, our party is a party that is dynamic. And what makes it an organization to tick, as it were, is when you have the capacity to review your processes, it's for you to consider the situation you find yourself and to continue to forge ahead into perfection. The Constitution is there for us to obey. And for anybody, any member of the party that has subscribed to that Constitution, and agree to be bound by that constitution should be reminded that they have an obligation to do that. The fact that you have done certain things in the past and it has not given you the desired result, 
does not preclude you from continuing to try. And because in a political party, you have different, sometimes conflicting interests or backgrounds, you have religious consideration, you have cultural differences, you have ideological differences, but when you agree to come to that party and you have a focus, then you must agree with that. So for us as a party, we believe that any member of the party that has subscribed, a true member will say, that have subscribed to the provision of this constitution will be bound by that. And as NWC, if you look the way we catch that statement, it was to say to you, recognize the fact that this party belongs to all of us. And for it to succeed, and for it to play its role effectively, we must come in together. Because at this time, I think what is very important is beyond the PDP. We as Nigerians, and particularly the political parties, and especially for the PDP, we recognize our role to be able to develop this democracy. And the sustenance of this democracy requires a viral and vibrant, vibrant opposition to ensure that government is held to account. And that's why we believe, and we're very optimistic, that now, recognizing where we are as a nation and all the challenges right now, it is important for us to come together. The NWC, in its wisdom, have decided to that. After due consultation with the other organs of the party, we recognize the need for us at this time. It is critical for us now to come together. And we are very confident and we are optimistic that right now, members recognize the need to ensure that the areas of conflict are reduced to the barest minimum. And that's where we're there. So we're very, very confident and we believe in our party members because they are democratic in nature and they recognize the need for the greater good for the greatest number of people. And it, the need to come together has been there for a very long time for PDP. I want you to react to a statement uh, made back in September by Professor Wale Shoinka. He blamed the PDP for willingly donating the presidential election to Bola Tinubu, uh, the uh, inability of Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi to align and stay on the same page, contesting together under the PDP, ruined it, he said. And he also said this critical piece, politicians should learn how to take responsibility for the consequences of their choices within democratic options. We've also see the, seen the PDP torpedo itself with Wike and the G5 and the fallout from that. And... Um, in all that has happened with the PDP uh, being a strong opposition party to pretty much faltering uh, when the time came for it to stand up strong, what lessons uh, have the PDP learned? Thank you very much. This is very important. Number one, the, the Revere Laureate can have his opinion, but incidentally he's not a member of the party. Uh, we respect his views. But that, does not, that's, that's, that is a fair comment from his own perspective. But I'll tell you this, which is very important. When you have a political party and you have different interests, different consideration, it requires a delicate balancing act to ensure that you survive. And I've said it earlier in this conversation. The fact that you have done something in the past and you didn't get the desired results or the outcome that is that doesn't stop, won't stop you from going ahead. The fact that, yes, certain things didn't happen the way it ought to have happened cannot preclude you from trying new things with better understanding. And like I always say, hindsight is 2020. Perhaps Mr. we would have done something differently. That's Mr. why Mr. right Lugwa, now we're starting this process. I'm so sorry process. to interrupt And that's you. why... Mr. Lugwagwa, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but we have to go live to Kaduna State, where the Vice President Kashim Shatima is addressing the media.